Hi everyone. Um, petrol subsidy have been a big, big issues in the country since Tunumbo, uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbo was inaugurated uh, on the 29th. It is two days ago. And we know that uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbo have fully resumed back to the uh, office. Officially, is the president of Nigerians. But uh, during this inauguration speech, uh, I think he highlighted or he make a remark that uh, the removal of subsidy uh, need to go. And because of that, uh, that has bring the market into a tumor uh, whereby fuel have gone up and the distributors and the distrib marketers and those behind the fuel suppliers have started hiking their prices. But we also had a rumor that petrol subsidy not an immediate uh, uh, remover, according to the source that we hear from the president. Um, Tunumbo will currently be thinking of Gadlin's is uh, uh, the best expert that he can work with at this moment. And what it says that the removal of petrol subsidies will no longer be needed. And uh, we also recall that the president, Ola Tunumbo, had said in his inauguration speech on Monday that the subsidies was gone and it was not produced before in the year 2023 budget, which is a good news. Uh, we don't want we want the money that they use for subsidies uh, to be channeled to any other uh, public infrastructures. And according to what we also had, that um, it was learned that the essence for a meeting was to engage labor, labor anywhere from today and to ensure that the seamless removal of the subsidies. But according to the reliable source, uh, especially for an NNP uh, CL, uh, to set up a template uh, that will ensure that no toxic fuel was imported into the country and also to create a benchmark for the price. And the clarification came as uh, scarcity of the product uh, ground activities in major cities nationwide. Uh, we also know that four queues emerge many petrol stations as the marketers who start uh, holding for so the price for as high as 600 naira per liter and transporters hike fears. And we also know that from the southwest uh, to the southeast, even to the south house to the northwest, and other zones of the country, it was a tale of woe and fuel crisis gathered steams. And uh, we also heard from the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, uh, Godwin Emefele, and the group chief executive officer of the National Petroleum Company Limited at the presidential villa in Abuja. And it was the first official assignment of the president after his inauguration and the arrival of the fourth court of the state house uh, around 2.30 2, 2 p.m. Uh, through the quarter uh, guide gate uh, with his uh, officials entrance gate, which was also received by the vice president, uh, Kashi Shetima, uh, the permanent secretary. So all different uh, denominations were there. And what they said is that in Abuja, the payment for petrol subsidy has been a huge burden on the Complaints cash flow, uh, disclosing that the federal government is owing the company 2.8 trillion as it paid on petrol subsidies. The company, however, deduct cost uh, from the revenues due to the federal account from the state of the federal food oil. So, and the president to announce that the subsidy to PMC and uh, the premium's motto spirit is over. It has been a major challenge for NMPC continue operations it has been a funding the subsidy from the cash flows of NMPC. So the government is unable to defray the cost of the subsidy but it's due to the corporations and what they said is that they believe that there will be a free up resources for NMPC to do the great work that this con company is going to do for our country and why assuming the consumers or assuring the consumer that NMPPC NMPC as enough stock of petrol in the supply system and he appealed to the potential change in pump 
will not be enough reason for people to engage in panic buying. So also what Ahmed also said, that President Tunumba announcement in his inauguration speech on the removal of subsidy was in line with the law. And he said the federal government had not been financing subsidies since 2022, adding that the reality today is that the government cannot afford it. And as many state governments and some stakeholders kick against the policy yesterday, even the president, uh, Kashim Shetima, stressed the need to end the forest subsidy, saying failure to do so will hence the country. And we also know that Kashim also said that to get rid of forest subsidies, arguing that subsidies for regimes was not beneficial or befitting Nigerians, but has been subsidizing the lifestyle of the rich. And he also assured that despite the expected opposition from beneficiaries of the few subsidies, President Tinobu will frontally address the menace. Uh, the President has also made a pronouncement yesterday on the issues of world subsidy. The truth is that it is either get rid of subsidy or the first subsidy get rid of the country nations. Um, they know they spend 10 billion subsidizing the ostentatious lifestyle of the upper class of the society and we get fear opposition from those benefiting from this first subsidy scam. But there is a way and there is a way but be assured that our president is a man of a strong will and convictions. And in the fullness of time, we appreciate his noble intentions for the commissions. The issues of forest subsidies will be frontally addressed. And the members of the House of Representatives also throw their weight behind the subsidy removal and appeal to Nigerians to be patient with the new government. And the House of Representatives at the plenary sections hailed the removal of oil subsidies and lauded the government for decisions as the Nigerians be patient with the new administration. So, however, the Trade Congress of Nigeria, TUC, also said that the body while assessing the president's inauguration speech, uh, while listening to Tunumbu inauguration address, we are the first encouraged by his pledge to lead as a servant of the people and also to our consult uh, dialogues, especially on the key and not cause national issues, but we are consistently taken back, even horrified, when he announced the removal of subsidy on petroleum products. If by this it means increase in pump price and exploitations of people by unregulated and exploitive deregulated prices, then it's a joke taken too far. It is not for nothing for Buhari administration produce to the new administration and we expect the noble government to be wise on short and sensitive issues and to be more explicit in its pronouncement to avoid contradictory interpretations when comparing the written statement. Uh, we, we dare say this is a very delicate issue that touches on the life, if not very survival, particularly the working people and it has have to be treated with utmost cautious and should have been preceded by robust dialogues and consultations with the representatives of the working people, including the professions, the market people, students, and the poor masses. And the new administration cannot be keen to be speaking from both sides of this map. We all president to know to be a president with human face. Um, this first subsidy need to go. And, uh, and we also had a report from uh, from uh, the NMDPRA, uh, we said they shouldn't panic. Uh, they say, contrary to speculation and concern, the announcement in line with the Petroleum Industry Act, uh, they, they know they provide the total deregulation of petroleum downstream sector to drive investment and growth. And they are working closely with NMPC Limited and other stakeholders to guarantee a smooth transition to avoid any disruptions in supply as well as to ensure that consumers are not short chain in any form. And with the authority assure there is a simple supply of PNS to meet demands as we have taken necessary steps to ensure distribution channel remain uninterrupted. 
and foil is re readily available at all filling stations across the nation. Therefore, call on Nigerians to remain calm, resist the urge to stockpile as it poses a significant safety hazard. And we also heard from uh, someone from uh, uh, from the Major Oil Marketing Association of Nigerians, and uh, on the what they also said that um, the Nigerian main steams and the Down Steams Petroleum Regulatory Authority uh, wish to reiterate that there is no cause for alarm, and they strongly urge Nigerians to avoid panic buying or stockpiling petroleum, and they also believe that the behaviors not only create artificial scarcity but also pose a significant safety hazard. They also assure Nigerians of adequate fuel supply, working closely with the stakeholders to ensure seamless transitions and they are ensuring that distribution channel remain uninterrupted, thereby making fuel really available at all filling stations across the country. So and they also the decision is to phrase out the fuel subsidy regime is not merely a physical reform. It is a significant stride towards social justice and the acting that the administration plans to redirect these substantial funds toward existential public goods, such as infrastructures, education, and healthcare. This investment symbolizes a shared future, promising considerable long term benefits for all Nigerians. And what they anticipated the minimal changes regarding the distribution cost considering the cost of the product constitute 80% of the pump price. We pledge in collaboration with Nigeria Association of Road Transport Owners and other crucial stakeholders to manage this distribution cost uh, diligently to minimize their impact on the pump price. And what they also said that we ask all suppliers to continue supplying product to all legitimate marketers. And they urge all stations to remain open avoid hoarding product and they also eagerly await the day when Dangote Petroleum refineries as well as other licensed importers join the current supplier in a bid to diversify the source of petroleum product and enhance market competitions. And we also heard from a pains in Imo State currently um, based on what we heard from Imo State that uh, petrol marketers who remain open for business they quickly change their meter from 230 per liter of, pet of premium motor spirit to between 350 and 450 per liters. And we also observe why a good number of the spending outlet shut their station along key of desperate buyers were spotted in the station that opened the businesses. Why would they have to do that in most state? And the transport fare from Uri to Mbasa we used to cost five hundred pounds, five hundred dollars or less, before the government announcement has jumped to one thousand naira and more, depending on the part of Mbasa trans 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 travelers we are going. For sale at four hundred fifty per liter in Nondo State, and this is one of the things they have to look into. Uh, this is one of the things the government need to get rid of. And uh, in Nondo State, we had uh, uh, petrols were sell for 450 per liters in Nondo State. Uh, we all know commonly, especially the students and civil servants, uh, they were grunching as they were stranded across the state, following a hike in transport fare by over 100% by commercial drivers. And we also have a long queue for in Ogun. In Ogun State, residents of Abia Okuta yesterday wake up to four subsidies along queue in filling stations across the metropolitans. And we also know that uh, some filling stations were closed and few that dispense petrols at long queue for cars and people. Artificial fuel scarcity surfaced in Lenore on Monday evening and continued yesterday as many stations which dispense the product earlier in the day, including the Bill the Bovas, which is spent at 200 um, naira per liter, has just shut their gate. And we also have a few petrol stations sold at 300 per liters, and that was in the lowing. 
uh, based on Tinombo's removal of forest subsidy, with heel time adding that it should have been waited for Dangoto refinery to come on steam before removing the subsidies. And we have fast frustrations at forest sale for 550 liters in Anambra, in Anambra, which is not something that you should. Although some people attributed to the closure of the declaration of May 30 as Biafra Day, other says that the marketers responded to the announcement by President Tunumbu during the swing that the forest subsidies is gone. Long queue surface in Kano. Uh, uh, in Kano, uh, they, they said that uh, uh, four liters for 1,300 now sell at 1,700. And we have a few of welding stations dispending the product sold uh, at 270 to 300 per liters, and many other closes their shop. Even Taraba, granted by scarcity as commuters remain stranded. Uh, we also have four sold 750 in Calabar. Uh, commuter grooms are uh, four sell for 750 in Calabar. And uh, we also have in both shown subsidy removals week in Homans. Uh, is a, some filling stations uh, jump their price to 300 per liter while some holding the product in National State. Uh, the government yesterday described the removal of first subsidy by the president as in human an act of wickedness. And a statement by the governor's spokesperson. Uh, uh, Rashid described the president announcement removing the subsidy as unpathetic. The attention of Ogun state governor has been drawn to the deliberate hawking of PS by forest dealers with, within the state as a result of the statement from the inauguration speech of the new president, Ashiwa Jubola Nechinogu, on the removal of forest subsidies, thereby causing unnecessary hardship for the people in the state. This deliberate action is not only human but also unprotected and will not be allowed by the government. To this, to this end, special mooring teams of West Coast is set up by the government, uh, Demola Adeleke, headed by the Chief of Staff, uh, Mr. Azim Akinleye, is still effective and, and shall not condone any forms of economic sabotage. Uh, we also know that uh, Nekiti State as well, uh, the governor that uh, but Biodun Oyebanji warned that heavy sanctions are with petrol dealers hoping, uh, holding petrol pet product the view to create artificial scarcity and hiking the price of the product. The government held the marketer to award to await further directive on the limitation of the plant subsidy removal by the federal government and avoid any action that are capable of inflating hardship on the citizen. So this is what is going on according to the first subsidy in the country so we continue to bring you more as we receive so I hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next information take care have a great day bye for now